Hello, happy Wednesday. I know Christmas is just over a week away, so I am a little late at getting this up for you to have any ideas, suggestions, whatever. But I am here to show you what we got our 13, almost 14 year old daughter for Christmas. I know, she's almost 14. Anyway, so let's get into everything we have bought. Doesn't look like as much as normal. There was supposed to be another gift. Things happened. It's not being bought for Christmas. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, where do we start? How about stocking stuffers? I mentioned in my last video with Kevin stuff, socking stuffers were kind of meh. Looking at all the stuff I pulled out for Lilith, she's getting a lot of candy. <laughs> a lot of things that she does like. First off, she discovered this year that she likes push pops. It's random, I know. I used to get push pops quite a bit when I was little, but yeah, this one is a, uh, a blue raspberry one. <sighs> she also discovered she likes chocolate oranges. But oh, this one is dark chocolate, and she much prefers dark chocolate versus milk chocolate. So yeah, I was going to have her try them last year, but by the time I went to go find them and get her one, I couldn't find them at all. And then, there's more. We're huge Junior Mint lovers in this household. So I got her the red and green and the Peppermint Crunch. She said the Peppermint Crunch ones are actually really good. I haven't tried them. She also loves Trolley Sours. So we got her some trees. I may have gotten this for Kevin and not her. So we're gonna put it aside to go with his stuff. But yes, sweet tarts. He loves sweet tarts. She does too. I also got her some other little things to shove in her stocking. Some new nail polish. Hello. We've both been using the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel polish. Um, it's one of the few polishes that last on my nails for more than a day. And this one is in Midnight Mod. We have lots of blacks and reds, but she decided we needed a dark blue. Also got her some Christmas socks. She saw the uh, Christmas trash pandas and had to have them because we have raccoons around us that love our trash, especially when there's leftover pizza. And then I saw these during our one of our last Target trips. And they're Christmas kitties. It says Happy Catmas. And we have cats, so perfect. Also found a pack of three face masks, which are NASA. And if you didn't know, she wants to be a NASA engineer. So I thought she needed some NASA face masks and I saw them someone had put them down in a random spot I saw them I have no idea I never saw them through all of Target so I grabbed them and I kept them and I bought them 
she isn't much into makeup. She's getting there slowly. She randomly asks, can I go play with my makeup? But I figured she needed these. They're Harry Potter wand brushes. I know they're cute and probably won't get used much, but with the uh, Harry Potter fan in my household, kind of had to get them. They also came in a bag to keep them in. Don't know how much use that will get, but. And finally, yeah, because the two other little things I have, if I put them in the stocking, then she'll know what one of her gifts is, so. But last time we were at Disney Springs, we went to Alex and Ani, looking at bracelets for me, but I also knew there was one she wanted. She found a different one, so we got it instead but it is on the floor. It's one of the elastic beaded bracelets and it just says pride. I have no idea if you can even see it, but we are huge, pretty big uh, allies in this household and uh, family and friends and so we support that and she wanted a pride bracelet. Now on to non-stocking stuffer related on the same side as the pride bracelet. She said she wanted her own pride flag so we got it one. Plus come June when it's pride month we can hang it up outside. Uh, where else do I start? She loves tea. Last year we got her some tea from the tea and spice store at Disney Springs. She was drinking it every now and then. Now that she is at home every day, she has tea every day. And during, during the summer, we had gone to Disney Springs and I had showed her these special tea, flowering teas. She thought they were cool, but in order to do them, you need one of the special glass tea kettles. So we got her one. And this one comes with some, two of the blooming teas. So if she likes it, we can go get her some more, um, but she can also just use it for her loose tea or the tea bags. But it's pretty. I thought it came with a mug too, but I don't think so. Oh, squirt. You're being nosy. And to go along with all the other themes, a new coffee mug, and it's rainbow. Kind of hard to say no to Disney and rainbows. Yeah. Don't want to break it. She has gone through a bit of a growth spurt this year. So, none of her jeans are fitting. So we have two new pairs of jeans. Technically, there's a third pair, but she really needed a pair of jeans. I also got her some new PJs. Again, more rainbows. These are from uh, Pink. And they're really soft. Yeah, I'm sure she will love them. I mentioned in the video for Kevin, each year I get us new 
Christmas PJs that we open on Christmas Eve, so you can wear them on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. And this year's theme is Charlie Brown. She already knows, she already knows about these because she helped pick, up, pick them out. I kept suggesting all kinds of other ones. She's like, no, we did Coke already. We've done Mickey Mouse. I want, I want Charlie Brown. And uh, Squirt, stop. If you thought her love for the Toy Story aliens at Pizza Planet has gone away over the year, I found her a new shirt. She still loves her aliens just as much. There were others that I found. She almost got more shirts. I stuck to just the one. Um, so random things that my child is into right now. She has started to get into resin and making jewelry. So I found her a package of three silicone mats to work on. And I'll probably put this in her stocking, but a hand drill to drill holes into resin or polymer clay. We've needed this a few times recently. And I know I've talked about this before. The school she goes to is an engineering magnet school. Her high school that she is, we're still waiting to hear. We should hear back next month for sure. But the high school she's supposed to go to is also an engineering magnet school. A couple years ago, while she was in Sea Perch, which is the underwater robot, she said she wanted a soldering iron. Okay. Kind of random. I was the logical mom. What are you going to do with a soldering iron? Why does she need a soldering iron, Kevin? What is she going to do with it? He has found some things. Um, LED light things. That she wants to build. I need the soldering iron for so she's getting her soldering iron along with some rosin paste flux and solder. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess we will show you in future videos what she does with this. Hey, if there's room in the box, I may just put all three in. Also getting her a new sketchbook. She likes to sketch and draw. And I figured a little one she could take with her a little easier. Among other things that she's learned she likes this year, she likes skateboarding. So I found these at Target. Not, on, on, not only are they little build your own skateboards, they're NASA. So I thought it was a cute, silly gift. And Squirt, he's so nosy. To go along with the silly little gifts. I made her a shirt last week that says, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas with a little hippo face on it with a bow tie. I bought her a hippo. Now I have to make it a bow tie. 
Thankfully, I have red satiny fabric already cut out for making ears, so I could just sew that together real quick. I can give him a bow tie. He's super soft. And this next gift, super weird and random. There's someone on TikTok that she loves that wears one of these. You squeeze and that ears flop up. And this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's too bright in here. I can't get it. It lights up. It's super cute. I'll have to post some videos. And it's a unicorn. I will for sure post videos. She's gonna drive us all crazy. And finally, for Miss Nolith, this household, we like board games. You've seen our shelves full. We need another shelf. But it won't fit now. Because we got something and that has to be out there. Look forward to that in another vlog. I think we're gonna get some shelves and put them in Kevin's office. Not what I wanna do, but I don't know where else to put game shelves. She ended up technically four because we've already opened it and played it as a uh, family fun game night, date night thing. And that, that one was the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit, which I hope you got from Barnes & Noble. I looked on Amazon for it recently, and it's being sold for like $85. It's not what we paid for. I'll be right back. Anyway, along with the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit, We got the new Haunted Mansion game. It looks fun, it looks cute. Haunted Mansion is one of her favorites. So hopefully this one's some fun. Uh, it's Funko games, we haven't played any Funko game branded games. So hopefully it's fun. We've discovered this year that there's a certain game maker that we do not like. And it really sucks, because I really wanted to like those games. But yeah, Haunted Mansion. And a new Harry Potter game came out this year. This is the uh, House Cup competition. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. We've liked all the other um, Wizarding World games. And finally, her big gift this year, since the other one got cancelled. And I do mean big because this sucker is heavy. The box is huge. Gloomy. I'm putting it back down because it's too heavy. She saw this on a vlog I was watching and said, oh, that looks fun. I want that. That was a year ago. A year ago? Two years ago. I think it, I think it was last year. We looked into it. It's kind of like Dungeons Dungeons and Dragons, similar, it's not the same. And I'm not that type of game player, I'm not interested in those kinds of games, but we kept looking into it. We talked to the guy at the game store that we go, that we do go to here about it. And he explained it some and 
Kevin, I think you may like it. You'll be okay playing it. Like, okay, if she wants it, it's fine. I'll try. We'll see. We got it. So I guess I need to learn how to play this game now. I had something else in our Amazon cart to get for her to go with this but it got kicked out of our shopping cart. So yeah, if we have to do an Amazon purchase within this next week, I'll get it. If not, I'll save it for birthday, which is next month. Anyway, I think that's all for Miss Lilith, or at least from us. I have a whole pile of other gifts over here, but they're from family members. So I'm not going to show you those. Um, so yeah, now that I've done these videos, I can get to wrapping and get all this cr stuff out of my room. I want my room back. <laughs> anyway. Yes, my room is a mess. It's full of Christmas presents because our closet has been a mess. That's a whole nother vlog that I haven't even finished yet. Should be done by the end of the year, hopefully, if Ikea delivers next week like they're supposed to. But yeah. I think that is all for this video. I'm gonna go and uh, box this stuff back up so that it's out of my way or I can go wrap it. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I will try and leave links down below if I can remember to do it or where things came from. Most everything came from Amazon or Target or Disney. Um, oh yeah. Hope you are all doing well and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later. See you real soon. Bye.